What is up duchesses? It is Reagan here and welcome back to my channel. In this vlog, we begin our travel kickoff for 2023 by venturing to the Biltmore House in Asheville, North Carolina. The Biltmore is known as one of the largest living spaces in the United States currently. Definitely stay tuned and see the interesting parts that the kids liked for their age group and then also see where we stay. Okay guys, I literally just asked these kids what they knew about the Industrial Revolution and they told me nothing. Why am I sending them to you school? Like Luna Luna. Luna. Money work. El mundo quiere dinero. says it looks like Hogwarts. One thing to keep in mind because we are so high up in the mountains is really not Wi-Fi here so yeah. Okay so we are going to go ahead and head in at our reserve time. It was 12 o'clock. It is now 12.07 so they say they don't mind if you're a little bit late so we'll see how it goes. Asheville is known to have four distinct seasons. Therefore, a winter garden at Biltmore House was in order. This garden is home to exotic plants, including palms, citrus trees, and ferns. The space is decorated with sculptures and works of art, making it a very unique place to visit. With billiards being one of the most popular games during this era, it only makes sense for George Vanderbilt to have a room dedicated to it. The most important part though to me was the fact that this room had hidden doors. Look to see if you can spot it out. Because it is Christmas at the Biltmore, as you enter the banquet hall, you're greeted by a 35 foot tall Fraser fir tree from the mountains of North Carolina. Now you guys know I am a stickler for my Christmas trees and had to see this one in full effect. The Christmas tree is a live tree that takes over 35 years to grow. The most interesting part to me though is that it's all decked out with the toys or gifts that would have been given to the kids during this era. Now one interesting part that you probably didn't know is that citrus is most common and most sweet in the winter months. So fruit and especially citrus was given as gifts during Christmas time in this period. There is no wonder why the banquet hall is considered the most impressive room in the house. It has 70 foot high ceilings and a massive triple fireplace. The dinner table sat about 38 people with George and Edith sitting in the middle entertaining their guests. George Vanderbilt was a very philanthropic man who had a love for not only travel, but arts and also hunting. As it's only fitting to see displayed here in the banquet hall, tapestries from the 1500s along with animal heads which displayed not only the proudness of the hunter but the richness of the land. Now let's venture to my next place that I found fascinating, the breakfast room. The breakfast room is always decorated with seasonal flowers and it is in this room that you can see fine art by the artist Pierre Auguste Renoir and also John Singer Sargent. In this room, George Vanderbilt pays homage to his grandfather who started the business that landed the family in an upward trajectory. A 
It is also interesting to note that Biltmore is a 250 room chateau with 35 bedrooms, 63 Christmas trees at Christmas time, 43 bathrooms, and 65 fireplaces. New York media termed George Vanderbilt one of the best red men in the country, starting his collection at 12 years old. This library is the home to over 20,000 books that he read throughout his lifetime. With this tour, using the audio guide is a very pleasant experience because you're able to take the tour on at your own discretion and you can hear all of the rich history up close and personal. There's not a lot of people talking, so it's not really hard to follow. Now let's venture to the second floor living hall. It is in this area or in this space in the home that I really, really got chills. During 1889 to 1895, this home was designed for George Washington Vanderbilt II and his wife by Richard Morris Hunt. The Biltmore property was the last thing that he did before he passed away. There is an old saying that goes, you are only as strong as the team around you. With that being said, George Washington Vanderbilt II had a team that helped him bring the vision of Biltmore to life. He allowed them to use their freedom to create, to decide, and to move their vision forward for what we see today. Frederick Law Olmsted was known for many works. But the most notable ones is his design of the Central Park in New York and also his final designing of the landscape at Biltmore. While most homes in the 19th century did not have indoor plumbing or electricity, Biltmore had both. The indoor swimming pool held 70,000 gallons of water. It is definitely out of commission currently as to the last time they tried to fill it up the next morning, all of the water had disappeared. <laughs> Baby, when I tell you when you came into the main kitchen area, all you could smell was fresh baked cookies. This beautiful gingerbread house had the children amazed. I personally was amazed by the pantry organization, which we'll get to in another video. Hey guys, what did you think about the tour? It was fun. but it is so beautiful. I absolutely love the mountains. This trip has been really eye-opening as far as like the history of this place 
and it was really fun to see the kids react to the different things that they saw in the house. Like Willow was talking about, oh, they didn't have washing machines? No, they didn't have a washing machine. They had to do everything by themselves. Yeah, they did. They had to do everything by themselves, but they made it work, right? Yeah. They made it work. So here you have Mount Pisgah. Also the area where you saw um, the baby, because you know, I'm L&D nurse, so I'm always going to have to look out for the children, right? So the area where you saw the cradle, it actually faces these mountains. And because they were going to be, because the mom was going to be like in bed for a long period of time, they figured every child that was born there that she could be in that room so that she could have access to the best views since she was going to be in a room for a long period of time. So I think that's really sweet. But guys, breathtakingly beautiful today. So our next stop is going to be the creamery. I also got something to and I have to catch Aiden before he tries to um, this place looks like <laughs> jump. Okay. The train exhibit was absolutely adored by the kids. Basically, this exhibit has been created to commemorate all of the different places that Edith and George traveled throughout their time together, all over the world. Okay guys, so we have just arrived to the creamery, finally. We visited the train. We're in Antler Village. Um, we went through a little walk through museum and now we're gonna get ice cream and head to the hotel. Huh? What kind do you want? I don't know. Is that what you're gonna get? Well, what are you Strawberry if they have it. Okay. So they don't have strawberries. All right. They don't have strawberries? Okay, so a double chocolate plus cherry, right? You want strawberry? Do you see strawberry? Oh, they have butter pecan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Single vanilla. Thank you. You're welcome. And strawberry. I'm just doing on a cup or a cone. cone. Same cone? Yes. Is that a single scoop as well? Yes. They got these. quickly before my camera dies <laughs> I want to show you guys the room and definitely just ignore that we got stuff pulled out everywhere because we already have but my camera died as soon as we got here so I just have to show you what we got you have a table with a bench and a full-size kitchen which I thought was really great we ordered pizza tonight instead of going out. The kids did not want to go out anywhere, so I just kept it simple and ordered pizza. 
So if you're a family and you're coming to Asheville, definitely a good place to stay. You have a couch with a pullout bed and a fireplace and also a television. I don't know what this is. I don't know, it's reminding me. It's giving me feel on all vibes, but we ain't gonna talk about that. And then you have, you guys hear all of it? <laughs> So you have a balcony here that just kind of overlooks the property. And I don't know how they get down to Asheville, but I've seen helicopters and hearing sirens. But this fireplace is the truth, guys. It's so warm in here. You have dishes. So you, there's no need to bring anything like that. You do have dishes in the room, Willow showing you, and you also have pots and pans here as well um and then you come right in here like I said excuse my mess but you hey y'all um you have a full-size bathroom a jacuzzi tub with jets so yeah that part and then also a full-size shower now let's go to the master Perfect for a family. You have the king size bed and a little nightstand and a closet, which the kids have already like thrown their stuff in. And another opening to outside, so another balcony. So you literally could sleep with like your door open. Um, there's railing there, so nobody's gonna climb up. But yeah, there's a screen here too, so. It just kind of gives you some fresh air, which is amazing, especially like in the morning, in the morning time. So yeah, so that's the room. One thing that I noticed about this room is my room is bigger, but they got a couch for seating in here. I like that idea. That might be something I need to recreate at the house. Last but not least, you have a full washer and dryer along with broom and dustpan. So, I mean, I really thought this was like hotel, but it's giving home vibes. Like if you have a family, this is a good place to come to. And the rooms are larger. You can get it with two queens or you can get it with other bedrooms. So you just have to check out to see what you want or need. So I figured this was enough for us. I hear it. Spare chains, please. <laughs> I can tell you my problems, meditating my silence But I keep pushing my pen, rotating my stylus Brokenness feeling like sin, not no Creflo dollar Used to be left on red, now all the girls go holler Now all the girls go follow, all the fake friends gon' pile up I need peace to borrow, get that shit right back tomorrow Somehow all the fans go bravo, smile so much to hide my sorrow Faith is shaky in Verado I can't hold a frown Good morning guys. We are up. We are still in Asheville. I don't hear the sirens as much as I was hearing them last night because girl, I'm like, man, what? Maybe we're by a hospital. I didn't even think about that. Maybe we're close to the hospital. I have to check into that. But we are downtown Asheville, so I don't know. But anyway, we're up. Um, I'm so excited that I was able to complete this goal with you guys. That to me is what 2023 is going to be all about. Crushing the things that we set for ourselves. It's so important that you do. There's a saying that says, a hope deferred makes the heart grow sick. I really, really agree with that. It's important that we set realistic, measurable goals that we can rightfully accomplish because a hope deferred does make the heart grow sick. And so I'm just glad that we were able to do this and that I was able to do it for the kids. Um, 
as you guys know, they were gone all Christmas and um, all of the holiday season. So I wanted to do something with them when they returned back. Um, I learned so much on this trip just about um, the Vanderbilt family and then also just about the approach to the kind of life you wanted to live or you want to live. George Vanderbilt had a vision. He had a vision that no one else had, but he had people on his side to bring his vision to the forefront and he honored them with that. Those very people are still honored in that house today. And so I ask you today, who is your round table? Who is honoring your vision? Who are those people that tell you to keep going and are on your side? 2023 is all about making sure that you surround yourself with good people, making sure that you have the things that you need in order to bring forth the things that you want in your life. I'm not going to sit here and blab on. I'm going to end the video here. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks again for watching and we will see you in the next one. Bye.